Welcome, Catmaster Whoopi, to Nature Adventures with your boy Jacob. This is week seven, I believe. It's the last week. This is the grand finale. You know what that means? It means we're going to finish it off with a beautiful activity today. Today, what we got before us is we're going to learn how to make our dirty lake water or any dirty water drinkable. So all you need is these basic materials. You're going to need two plastic water bottles. One, you're going to need a cut because this one is going to be your filter. So you're going to put your stuff in here and you're going to filter it out. And this one is the one we're going to be drinking out of. So you need one for drinking, one for filtering. After that, you're going to need three things, okay? Because to filter it, you're going to need big pebbles, so big rocks to get the big stuff out. And then you're going to have fine sand. So the water is going to go through the pebbles and then it's going to filter through the sand, which is a lot finer, get even more stuff out. And then through the charcoal. So the small charcoal powder is going to be the last layer of filtering. And then it's going to come out on the other side and it's going to be free of all the dirty bits. But Jacob, you say, how am I going to get pebbles, sand and charcoal? Well, that's where you're gonna need this. So you go down to the beach and you pick up yourself a big old pile of all mixed sand. You get yourself a little filter or a strainer. You get a bowl and you pass it through. So it's gonna keep all the big pebbles on here and all the fine sand is gonna go through. So that's how you separate these, these two things right here. So you get your big rocks and you get your fine sand. Now, for the charcoal, just make a fire and small wood so that it burns through easy. And then once it burns through, it's burned through, you crush it up into a fine powder. So let's put it all together now. All that's left to do is wait and purify the water afterwards. I'll get to that when it's time. So a trick that I found is using my coffee filters and if you wanna use your paper towels or anything, you just put the filter bottle into the other bottle but with another paper in between. So that way you won't have any sand or charcoal leaking through on the sides. Four minutes. All right. So this water is boiling, bubbling up, and it should be ready to drink. Hey everyone, so as you can tell, I'm still alive. So drinking that water, <laughs> I ended up being fine. And um, the reason, I don't think I explained this in the video, so I'll do it now, is that the reason you boil the water, or put it in the microwave, you can boil it. The point is it needs to boil. It's because boiling the water for high, long periods of time, the heat in it kills all the microbacteria. So even though you're filtering everything through the different layers, so you got your rocks, you got your sand, you got your charcoal, you got your coffee uh, filter, and the water goes through all that, it takes out all the big chunks but the little bacteria still make it through. So that's why you gotta boil it to sanitize it, make sure that's sterilized. And then after that, you're all set to drink some lake water. You know what I'm saying? So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the activity. This is the last activity of our virtual camp summer. I'll see you guys for Mass Whoopi Inn on Saturday. Saturday the 15th, if I'm not mistaken. So be there, be square, stay safe guys.